July 3rd, 2023. Just had two customers back to back call that watch our YouTube channel and wanted a quick update on rollbacks. They were looking at old video and we always have to chuckle when they say, do you still have this or that? And we say the video was two or three months ago. We're like, no, unfortunately we probably have none of those still here, but uh, just want to give you a quick rundown. This is a gas 550 2016 with a Miller bed. This was a trade in. This is on the website. Reasonable mileage truck and no rust. Very, very clean truck. New shocks, tires, Fresh service, fresh inspection, and a Miller bid. 2024 Freightliner with a Danco. Call Mike and talk to him if you don't know anything about Danco. He'll be happy to tell you the details on that. 2023 Single Cab MV with a Jordan. 22102. All of my Jordans currently are 22102. Two of these Hinos. We may only see one of them. I think the other one is off site with a Sentry bid. 2023 Red Freightliner Jordan. Sentry bed on this 2015 International. This is a high mileage truck. The pictures online might not do it justice. We'll do a quick walk around. This was a locally owned truck and we assisted with this truck when it was brand new. 22.5 on the tires. We had this truck and its twin brother traded at the same time. Both had 350, 360,000 mileage range or 380, something like that. But this company does maintain their trucks well. The other truck's out running strong, doing what it's supposed to do. Blade rails, 21 and a half, 102. Also, not a rusty truck. This Ram usually is hooked to the trailer. I think the trailer's back in the field, but this is part of a hot shot combo that we've got. Oh, another 24 Freightliner we walked past. This is a used 23 Freightliner with a Jordan aluminum bed. Medium duty wrecker with a gas motor. Five of these 550s with gas motors. If somebody wants to do their fleet, I think we've got every color under the sun. There's one with a truck on top of it. 2020 with a 15,000 HD Kylar bed. A couple more of the Ford 550s. A little small snatch Dodge. Terrastar, medium duty with a double tunnel box set up. This will be a great fill in truck. Yes, this truck does have the max force. Yes, we know that's not the greatest motor. Yes, this one does run good and it came from California, so we could not pass it up. Excellent running truck, zero issues. California, so no rust. Kind of an oldie but a goodie here, DT motor. 466 medium duty, double tunnel box. One of these are 14,000, one of them is a 16,000. Then we get the strange looking Fuso here. Cab over, but a really good running driving truck, very unusual. I think this was also a California truck. I try to get as many as we can from California. Um, they age out over there, so they don't pull them because of problems. They pull them because of age. So we find we get some of the nicer trucks, and of course, absolutely no rust when they come from California. Just had a yellow 750 that sold. Man, was thrilled with it for the condition. Uh, used 550 with a gas motor here too. Drove this truck back, I think, from Tennessee. Good running, driving truck. 170,000 miles. 79,000. Six brand new tires, also no rust. Quite a few of these little service vans. Quick view of our new reconditioning area for rollbacks right there. 100 by 40 area, I think that's gonna be for reconditioning on top of our 100 by 100 building and then our service shop up the street. So not much we're not gonna be able to accommodate. 2024 Freightliner there also, extended cab, steel bid. 
I don't know if Ford's had their problems. This is a actual 23 Ford extended cab 650. I don't think we're gonna see any more Fords this year. Gosh knows if we'll even see them next year. But that's a 650 power stroke, aluminum bed, very well optioned, 9,000 mile truck. We just cleared a lot of them out of here. So a bunch of them are up at our service shop trying to get some paving and clean up stuff done around here. Got the new showroom open finally. Uh, got a Mac over there with an NRC on the back. Double box quarter fender 22102 blade rail Jordan. Wireless remote winch, rear view camera, extra air hookup. 23 MV, a 23 Freightliner sitting beside it with a sentry bed. in the cab two more gas 22s with no miles 22 freightliner with aluminum jordan bed 22 international with jordan and there's one more hino right here a little fuso nice little equipment truck tractor delivery landscaping Across the street, that's a 550 diesel 4x4 with a signboard on the back. That's a power folding signboard. It's a really nice option on a Century aluminum bed. All galvanized. We come over here to our Rams. Beautiful lineup of Rams. 22, a 20. 22 a 23 two more 22s right there at the end the whites that's a 22 that's an 18 higher miles of course the new ones we don't really need to do much video but if you guys want a video we'll go over any of these trucks you want but this is an 18 local truck miller bid excellent tires not rusty to show the not rusty because man the complaints we hear from these other dealers that are selling the used trucks and trying to do similar things to what we do man the customer feedback of misrepresentation if a truck's rusty i'm gonna tell you it's rusty i mean it's there's no two ways about it not to say we won't miss a little scaliness or something but most of our trucks are going to be from very clear climates and they're not going to be rusty I'm saying we don't get one, but you'll see in the description. It quickly says this is a rusty truck. It's a Vulcan bid by Miller. Uh, 17 model with 176 for 69. I've got an 18 in black, just like this, and a 19 in black, just like this. And the 20 down there in black, if you want, you know, used with some miles. Fresh inspection, fresh service, tie rods, ball joints, brakes, whatever it needed, got done. We do have a center cast for the wheels. That'll go on it. All of these trucks will leave with straps and chains and towing apparatuses, whatever you require. Go into the warehouse, we'll load you up. If you wanna buy some extra stuff such as dollies or mounts of any shape or form, we've got those two. That's a 23 MV, Jordan, aluminum blade rail, 22102. Uh, 19 International MV with Cummins, of course. And then a very unusual Hino over here, crew cab with an aluminum Jordan. And again, it's quite a few more. My KWs, red, blue, and white are sitting down at uh, our service shop. Just moved those down there and a couple others, close to a dozen down there probably actually. Some Rams down there too, so. But most everything is up on the web. Uh, we do have this crew cab Ram with a dual tech. Then the rest of these are Jordans and Centuries. Combination of both sitting side by side. Another nice comparison. We had somebody the other day jumping all up and down Mike about bed height. Jordan versus Century. Here they are side by side. You can do your own comparison, but they're exact. Absolutely identical heights. Now well, there's another one right there. So. Century and Jordan, and for that matter, 
dual tech's actually sitting over there about three inches lower, but that's a crew cab, so they could throw it off a little bit, but no more better representation than seeing them all side by side. And here's actually a dual tech. If you want to see that one in there, exactly the same height, if anything, one inch or two inches lower. So this guy was arguing there was like a six or eight inch difference, but ain't much arguing that picture right there. So but again, if you want specific pictures of any of these trucks, this one's got a rear view camera on it also, this Ram. I think we've got three more of these trucks ready. So if you want to equip yourself with a large fleet, we got it covered. Fleet discounts are available for multi-vehicle purchases, whether they be new or used. Again, we sell everything as used because we're a used dealer, not because the trucks are necessarily used. Most of these have never hauled anything, but we do have to sell as used per Virginia law to sell properly. So when we say new, we use that term very, very lightly. It's going to be new to the first owner, used on paper, if that makes sense. Just got another fleet of bucket trucks in also. These were one of the local company owned trucks. All tech booms, all self-contained with generators. A couple of studded 6.0s there. And on the rollback kick, don't forget the tracks tilt trailers in stock can't afford a roll bag and you got a pickup truck you can be roll backing it with one of these pretty quickly six of those in stock 20s and 22s and 24s check the website or give us a call thanks for watching